Hi guys, this is Andrew Power and in this video I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step on how to uh, identify if your WordPress website's been affected by the Soak Soak virus which has affected thousands and thousands of websites. Um, we've just had a second hit um, around Christmas Day and it's still continuing to sort of echo on because of the way the virus works. Um, so I'm going to walk you through step by step, if you don't know anything about WordPress, how you can sort of take care of it yourself because a lot of IT companies have knocked off for Christmas and gone off and uh, how dare they have holidays, but they're doing it on the day where uh, everything's going to hell. So in this first video, I'm going to teach you basically how you can add your site to Google Webmaster Tools. Now, if this is too basic for you, if you know how to handle Google Webmaster Tools, go ahead and skip this video on to the next one. Uh, but the first thing in uh, in cleaning your site up is to sort of let the the big G take care of uh, identifying what's wrong with your website. So in this example, I've been given a site that's been affected by the Soak Soak virus, uh, and if you go to visit it on your own terms before Google's officially cleaned it up, uh, it'll come up with a big red you know warning. This site has malware error, uh, and of course, any visitors to your site who come across that sort of warning, the first thing they're going to do is hit the back button and get the hell out of there. So this this site in particular um, hasn't been added to Google Webmaster Tools before. So the first thing you want to do is log into Google Webmaster, which is google.com forward slash webmasters is the uh, URL for that. Log into your account and make sure you add the site. So in this case we're just going to add this new site. And when you add a new site to the webmaster tools it's going to tell you hey you need to verify that you're the owner. Now it won't automatically come into this and, and, and say that it's all good to go. It'll say you have to put a verification code in and all that sort of stuff. Uh, that usually means you need to upload a file to where your website's stored or if you're running just completely through WordPress and you're not too FTP savvy, then you can always add a plugin and you go to plugins and add new on WordPress. And if you type in something like webmaster, you know, Google webmaster, there we go, you type that in, you'll find a number of different plugins that you'll be able to post the verification code straight into. This first one here uh, will do the trick. So you can just install that and then you post the verification code that Google gives you to say to put on your site and then it will automatically verify that the uh, the website, you've got some access to the site. This is to stop anybody from just getting in and having a look at you know what's going on with the site and everything like that. Once the site's been added, you can... Um, well, if you go back to your normal Google Webmaster Tools, you'll see that along the top it says severe health issues are found and you can you can actually check the site health, um, which we're going to do, and it says malware detected. Some critical malware has been detected. We click this, it's going to take us into a, a deeper page in the security thing and it's going to tell us all of the URLs that are affected and what date that detection was made. So what you want to do is you click your Show Details button and it's going to give you a snippet of the actual code that it's found that it really doesn't like. And in this case, it's calling a, a, a JavaScript tag to some random server. And this is how Soak Soak works. Um, the servers can change. So this, this address here might change. Um, I've seen everything from Malaysian URLs through to throwaway.coms being put in there. And Soak Soak um, infests itself and, and uses people's um, servers to further its cause with infecting others. So this URL may change but Google will certainly tell you what's wrong with your site. Now in the next video I'm going to talk about how you can clean it all up but I wanted to just cover how to add the webmaster tools, how, the, how to add the site to the webmaster tools so you can be ready for the next phase. I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next video.